Let's get into our first set of Python operators. We're going to talk about the mathematical operators. I'm going to make this a quick one. Math. Never was my favorite subject going through school, but here inside of Python, as long as we know what we're doing, Python is really going to figure it out for us. We're going to be able to use operators such as addition, subtraction, division, multiplication, and a handful of other mathematical or arithmetic style operators. Take a look. So back into my command prompt window, I've got my Python prompt, and I'm going to create a couple of variables here. I'm going to say a equals 5, and my enter key, b equals hmm, 25. All right, so now I've got two variables in there where I'm storing two different values. a is 5, b is 25. Now I'm going to do some math with those. So here I'm just going to say a plus b. Sounds like an algebra type equation, right? I'm gonna hit my enter key, and there's my 30. Five plus 25, or A plus B equals 30. All right, so I'm just using the addition symbol there. If you look at your number pad on your keyboard, you got all your mathematical, or not all, but you got the more common mathematical operators right there on the number pad. I wanna do some subtraction. So I'll say uh, B minus A. I'm gonna hit my enter key. There's my 20. 25 minus 5 is 20. Let's do some multiplication. We'll say A times B, or A asterisk B. If you've done mathematical type equations in other programming languages, this should all be the same. I've just created some variables, and I'm able to do some math with them. I, I use some variables there just to nail down that concept some more. And that's something we're going to keep using as we go through the various lectures here. But I could just have numbers inside there. I could just say 5 plus 5, there's my 10, 5 times 5, or 5 divided by 5, and I'm just banging out some numbers there. But there's something to say about storing values however you got them, maybe from a database, a web page, from user input, putting them inside of a variable someplace, and then we can reuse them, okay? not just static, hard-coded numbers, although we can do that with mathematical operators, no problem. So try this out, just get a feel really quickly, jump into your command prompt window, get your Python prompt, and start banging out some mathematical operators in there. Use your addition, your subtraction, your division, your multiplication. And I'm gonna supply in one of the lectures coming up a list of all the different types of operators that you can use. But before we do that, let's take a look at a few other operators. Try this out first.